Hey designer, Alex here, welcome to the channel and in today's video we're going to use Lottie inside of Adobe XD to create these awesome looking animations inside of our mobile screens. So here I have this animation and when I swipe or drag it's going to play this second animation, then when I swipe it's going to change and play this third animation and finally when I swipe and come to the end, when I click get started button it's going to play this small animation right here and then it's going to transition using auto animate to this blue color and then to the starting screen all over again. So let's get started. Alright, so here I have the practice file for this tutorial and if you want to get this practice file make sure to join my membership, link is going to be down in the description below. Membership includes all of my courses, digital design products, private access to the Facebook group, practice files for these YouTube videos, mentorship and much more. So if you're interested to additional content rather than just these free YouTube videos, make sure to check it out once again, link is going to be down in the description below. Now in terms of overall file structure, how everything looks like, let me walk you through it really quick. So inside of the center we have these Lottie animations so you can just see data right here but you can double click and change the name if you want to. Then I have this two text layers right here at the bottom. I also have these circles for the pagination in all three. Of course these uh, are changing depending of uh, from screen to screen. Uh, and finally right here we have this text which is just moved from the bottom right here to the top. A pagination came to an end and we have this button. Inside of the button we have two states, so default state which is what you see right here and if I zoom in you can see that we have the white background with a grey uh, outline and we also have the animation inside which in the default state is at 0% opacity but when I switch to clicked state you can see it's at 100 opacity and also the button outline changed its color to this main blue color. This animation is going to play when it comes to an end, when I switch right here to the prototype, it's going to use end of playback trigger, it's going to use auto animate and uh, destination is going to be overlay which is this next screen and it's going to use a easing of ease out 0.6 second, then this overlay is going to use time trigger of 0.6 is in out and 0.6 for the duration and then it's going to transition back to this first screen. Now how I did this overlay it's actually really quite simple inside of each of these blue dots so right here at, at the beginning at this first dot I actually used this uh, rectangle which I called overlay and I just reduced it in size something like this basically and I just rotated the corner radius to 100 and basically placed it inside of these circles uh, with the blue color. Now in terms of where I got these animations from uh, I got them from Envato Elements and I'm recommending this website all over again in my videos because I truly think it's fantastic because you can get absolutely anything that you can possibly ever need inside of Envato Elements and this is where I got my icons for this particular video. So they are these icons, so e-learning animated icons, I'm going to leave the links uh, in the description below. You can also check out UI.net, they also have these icons and uh, animations uh, with Lottie files included inside, so when I click right here you can see how these look like, you can also play for each of them and see how the animations actually look like once they are animated and what you're going to get are multiple uh, folders but I'm going to show you this animated GIF folder and I'm also going to show you this Lottie JSON folder. So how this looks like is you can use this basically as a preview. So you can see for example README Online which is the one I used uh, inside of my uh, XD file right here. So you can locate it right here, then you can come to this folder README Online and all you are interested in is this data JSON file. You can quickly copy and paste this file or share this file via Dropbox or email however you want with your developer. They can easily drag and drop this file inside of their code editor and they're going to get the code directly inside of this data JSON file which is just important if you want to share these uh, animations with your developers. Also because Lottie integrates natively with Webflow, if you're creating websites or apps or whatever inside of Webflow then you can simply drag and drop these and you're going to get the code natively because Webflow is going to keep it inside. 
Now, in terms of uh, changing the size, changing the width or whatever, when you drag and drop these um, animations inside of XD, you're going to basically treat them like any other object. So you can hold shift, alt, left click, you can scale them, you can reposition them, place them, whatever you want. And if you want to switch them for some reason, so let me show you, let's say that I'm going to use something like mats, which I didn't use. The only thing I'm going to do is simply drag and drop it inside and you can see it's going to position it here. If I hit preview really quickly, as you can see now we have completely different animation. Now in terms of how I got this to my mobile phone, which you saw in the intro, basically the only thing you need to do is save this file as a cloud document, then download and install XD app on your mobile device, connect it via USB cable and then you're going to open it up from your cloud documents. Let me switch back to here and let me actually show you how everything looks like once again. So what we have right here is when I drag you can see everything changing. When I click right here, it's going to switch to here. I actually sped up this animation, which I'm going to show you in just a second. And then it's going to transition to this screen and then back to this screen. Now, in terms of these triangles, which I didn't actually mention, what I did is I created this first triangle right here. As you can see, there are many. Then I came right here and I installed this plugin called Confetti. And you can come back to here, click right here, and then inside of the search, search for confetti, simply install it. And how it works is when I click right here, you can see all the columns and all the rows. So the more of these triangles or different objects, you can create a circle, you can create a square, a rectangle, whatever you want, or you can create even better something like a blob or a custom object. And then come back right here, then you can randomize opacity. It's going to go from whatever you set right here. You can randomize the rotation. So they're going to rotate. You can see one is in this direction, one is in this direction. You can randomize scale. Clearly you can see one is bigger, one is smaller. Then you can enable depth of field blur. So the further they are, the smaller they are, it's going to show the blur. Finally, you can include these hex colors. So for example, in this document, we have four different colors. You can copy and paste all four colors, and then it's going to show you all those colors right there. So basically that's how I got these triangles for my design. Basically, I just wanted to uh, mix it up a little bit and not have completely white background. So when I drag, they're going to change and randomize at different places, as you can see. And finally, when I click right here, it's going to transition to this blue color. Finally, what I want to share for this particular video is how can you add and how can you actually change the color or the scale of your animation. So basically what you need to do is come to the Loti files and basically you can create a free account here. Simply drag and drop your animation inside. This is the animation we are going to use for the button. You can simply click on it. And then if you want to quickly share the code with your developers, simply click uh, share privately or copy this asset link. If I do that and paste it in, you can see the code right here. Developers can simply copy and paste this code inside of their code editor. And if you want to edit this, you can click right here to edit animation. And what you can do right here is first of all, dimensions, you can change the dimensions, frames per second. If you think it's going too fast or too slow, you can slow it down. You can speed it up if you want to duration. So it's lasting for five seconds and I want to for it, for it to last for two seconds, for example, then as you can see, it's going to finish up this animation much faster. Then you can change the background color, which in this case is white. You can change the playback speed so you can increase it to here. So 2.5, for example, then you have all of these colors. So for example, if I click on this color and enter a different kind of blue, for example, 3EC6FF, for example, when I hit update, you're going to see the blue change right there. Finally, if you want to download this new animation of yours with these new changes, simply click this button and it's going to show you exactly the same file like I showed you previously with all of these uh, Lottie JSON files. So you're going to get something like this, but with a different name. Make sure to name your icons in terms of convention you are going to choose for your particular project. So in this case, all of them are called data JSON, but you can change them to whatever you want, for example, science or something like that. And there you go. Basically, that's it for this tutorial. That's how easy it is to work with Lottie in Adobe XD. What I did mention in this video is they're coming with their own plugin. So basically, if I show you, this is the Lottie files for Adobe XD. If I open it up, you can click view profile to open it up uh, inside of your browser. 
you can click edit right here so you can select different animations you can click right here so private which is your private animation or public which is the animation you shared and because this is the private one this is the one we actually created just a, a few moments ago uh, inside of our web browser so it's this one but now it's in directly inside of loti files plugin inside of adobe xd so basically you can uh, drag and drop it and position it right here so there you go that's it for this video i really hope you liked it if you did make sure to subscribe to the channel because i upload videos every single week about adobe xd design passive income techniques and much more so if you're interested in content like that make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video. Take care.